kids! Hi! Welcome back! Today, we're going to talk about the small catechism. And you can get the small catechism in a pocket-sized book like this. And it has the things in it we need to learn. This is part of becoming, um, what part of what you'll learn in your um, confirmation classes. It has the Ten Commandments, Apostles' Creed, Lord Prayer, Sacrament of Holy Baptism, Confession, Sacrament at the Altar, Morning and Evening Blessings, and Blessings at Meals. In the Bible, from the creation of the world to the resurrection of Jesus, we see just how much God loves us. Sometimes we need help in understanding these ideas, and that's where our catechism comes in. Martin Luther wrote the small catechism almost 500 years ago as a tool to help Christians, and especially children, to understand the Bible. The small catechism helps us break down the teachings of the Bible in a very clear way. So what is faith? Well, faith is trust or belief in something. Take, for example, a chair. Think of your favorite chair. It may be old and worn out or brand new. But unless it's very old, you probably don't worry about it falling down when you sit on it, right? Having faith in a chair to hold you is a little bit like having faith in God. We don't see or touch faith, but it's there. And it tells us that God loves us in Jesus Christ. Through faith, we trust that the Bible is true, although we may not understand everything about it. We have faith in our Father, God, who made us and loves us, in Jesus, who died to save us, and in the Holy Spirit that helps us grow in our faith. We believe. Faith isn't something we have by ourselves. God, the Holy Spirit, gives us faith. And we celebrate that on Pentecost, which is coming up pretty soon. Faith is a gift of God that helps us grow in our knowledge of him and our belief in him. In Ephesians, which is a book inside the Bible, it says, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of your undoing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Notice. This verse says that faith is not of your own doing. It doesn't come from us, but as a gift from God. This is more good news. Added to what God has already done for us, not only did Jesus take our punishment for sin and promise to make believers and opened heaven to us, but to believe in him and his promise. What wonderful news. Well, what is the church? You think, well, it's that building we go to on Sundays, or used to go to. Kaylee folded her hands and began the poem. Here is the church, here is the steeple. Open the door, see all the people? Close the door and hear them pray. Open the door and they all go away. <laughs> when you hear the word church, what do you think of? Sometimes the first thing we think of is the building where we come together on Sundays. When we say we go to church, we usually mean that we go to a church building. So what does the Bible say about the word church? It may be helpful to know that church is not only a building. Church buildings show us that God's house is very special. We set aside a place to pray and to listen to God's word, to sing and receive God's gift of forgiveness. The cross, the altar, the pulpit help us to think about what God has done for us. The designs and the stained glass windows can help us learn Bible stories. But the building itself, while very special, isn't why the church exists. So the church is not a club like, you know, Boy Scouts or Girl Scouts. People who like the same things join clubs to enjoy activities together. While we have things in common with other Christians and do many, many things together, that's not the main reason for church. What makes the church so different? Well, Jesus. He is with us as we gather for our service. We receive gifts from God. He speaks to us through our Bible readings and through our preaching. 
God saves us in baptism by taking away our sin. He forgives us through his body and blood and holy communion. In church, God helps our faith grow. In the Bible, Jesus tells us that church is like a body. Think of a human body. It has the head, the arms, the legs, the fingers, everything else. If we compare the church to a body, Jesus is the head. He leads us. He's in charge. We are his hands and feet who do loving things for others. The church is much more than just a building. It's also much more than a club. The church is a community of believers in Christ who come together to receive God's gifts. That's about all about God giving himself to us. Well, that's all for today. You'll have to watch the church service for May 10th because there's a children's message in there and I do the children's message with a card trick. See if you can figure out what the pastor did. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> I can't stop this thing again. My computer's frozen.